So the Radeon RX 6000 cards launch today. Woo! And it may have been one of the most underwhelming launches we've seen in a while. Okay, sure, you may make the argument that the RTX 3000 launch may have gotten a bit uh, underwhelming because of the fact that there is no stuff for anyone but at least the performance was something completely groundbreaking it kind of went from oh look they're finally going out i can't wait to find and get some competition to huh well these aren't performing as well as i imagined and then a few hours later everyone just seemed to have forgotten about it already and even i almost stopped caring and i was back to just being like why am i still here why am i making these videos why am I still single? So yeah, if you haven't followed the saga of the Radeon RX 6000 launch, well, you definitely missed out because it's still been at least somewhat interesting. A few weeks ago, AMD announced a brand new series of Radeon RX 6000 cards, which are supposed to rival the new and amazing RTX 3000 cards from Nvidia, and the launch day finally came, and all we got was some very, well, disappointing numbers. Not by any means bad, but AMD didn't really jump light years ahead of NVIDIA or anything, or even just a few light years away. And instead, they pretty much just played catch up with them. The cards may not be way behind, but also not ahead by any means either. I mean, just take a look at how exactly these cards perform. Sure, they are absolutely fine, but by no means amazing, especially seeing how they're only just a tad cheaper and an area where AMD lost a huge amount of ground this time around is productivity, where Nvidia's CUDA cores are still on top. Again, they're not terrible in productivity, but it's still clear that AMD is the one playing catch up here. And that kind of attitude of AMD just playing catch up can be seen in a lot of places. Like the fact that only just bring in tons of DirectX 12 and DirectX 12 Ultimate features that Nvidia already had. And one of the biggest examples of AMD really kind of falling behind here is ray tracing because yes these new cards do support ray tracing but let's just say that AMD's first effort into this field hasn't been a successful one and it explains why during the presentation they only very briefly talked about ray tracing like this like almost throwaway feature. So are these cards a throwaway then? Well not quite. They are technically less expensive than Nvidia's offerings. But the issue is that, well, for most of us, it's better to just save up a bit of money and grab yourself an NVIDIA graphics card instead, seeing how AMD still does not have a response to so many amazing features that NVIDIA has, like the NVENC encoder, because by comparison, the AMD include encoder is, let's just say, not the best. NVIDIA also has DLSS, which is amazing and super super groundbreaking technology that allows players to game at way higher resolutions with very very little actual impact on the overall quality of the game. All about all the other tools that Nvidia offers like say Nvidia Broadcast which includes stuff like RTX Voice which allows you to use like noise cancellation on your microphone, it allows you to do stuff like remove the backgrounds from your camera feed, stuff like Omniverse Machinima, stuff like shadow play, stuff like Ansel's, it all adds up to a huge suite of things that AMD just doesn't have any answer to, neither did they plan to do so as far as we know. Who knows, maybe in a few days time they will announce a competitor to all of these, but as far as we know, AMD have nothing planned right now. Because if they did, they would be trying to promote it by now. So yeah, the launch is overall a bit underwhelming, but it couldn't get worse, right? Yeah, it, it, it did get worse. And you may be saying, Evrona, this is not all doom and gloom. After all, some impatient people will pick up a Radeon 6800 XT or a Radeon 6800 because RTX 3000 cards are out of stock. Well, true viewer, true. If not for one issue, literally hours after launch, Retailers already started coming out saying that they have very limited stock of the product and in fact some retailers even claim that they received less stock of the new Radeon 6000 cards than they have of the RTX 3000 cards making this the paper launch of paper launches it's like a tissue launch I guess so if you're one of those people who are saying to yourself that's it I'm not buying an RTX I'm not getting that amazing performance because I can't wait a few more months for them to be back in stock. I'm buying AMD. 
well, tough luck. You can't get AMD either. Though one thing we can look forward to, however, is the launch of the 6900 XT, which is going to be launching in December. Hopefully by then, AMD could have produced a few more 6900 XTs, so they have at least some amount of stock ready, seeing how it has like, you know, a month more to get ready. But we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see because honestly, right now, man, there's just so much good tech out there, but just not enough opportunities to buy it. Which like, again, I we shouldn't complain about it because it's just PC hardware, we can live without it. And if you are planning to buy a 6800 XD or a 6800 from AMD, because they do cost less than the RTX counterparts, well at least now, you get some extra time to save an extra bit of money to get yourself a RTX 3000 card instead, which is what I would definitely recommend you do. Again, these are nice cards, they're cool, they're just don't offer anything groundbreaking like we hope for. And it was almost to be expected. NVIDIA RTX 3000 graphics cards were such a huge step forward that we all kind of, you know, half expected AMD to just not be able to keep up. We all wanted them to, we all want great competition and all, but deep inside we all know that the odds were very low of them really surpassing NVIDIA. And sure, maybe they just didn't surpass them, but at least they're, you know, kind of on par. Anyway, I'm done talking about it. I can go back to contemplating why I'm still single. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. The body I've lost, and the comrades I've lost. But if you want to make me feel less bad about myself, then maybe check out my Patreon, it's going to be down in the video description below. Because even one dollar a month is a long way in how on my channel and allows me to make way better videos. I also like for my Patreons, Gavin Birds and Echo B. Thank you ever so, so much. Then there's also our Amazon links. I'm going to have them linked to some nice power supplies for you to bundle alongside your new RX or RTX graphics card, if you can get your hands on one. Because if you buy that power supply or anything else for our Amazon links, then you don't pay anything extra, we get some money, it's a win-win. Then it's also a link to my Discord if you want to talk to me over this or whatever else really. And like I said, really it's so I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in what I like next. Goodbye everyone. Good bye.